gonna be riding three. I'm not riding. <laughs> My brother's not riding. We're the only two riding. And I'm riding Daisy Bear and Muffin. My mom's riding Blossom, Nakona, and Okay, can I talk for a second? Yeah. Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, live stream video. If you're new here, my name is Brandy, and basically what's going on is Monday through Friday, as long as this crazy coronavirus is going on, I'm going to be doing a live stream video daily and offering videos on the weekends as well. So as my daughter Tova just announced, today we're going to try to ride as many horses as we can. So we each picked three horses to bring in, and hopefully we'll get the opportunity to ride all of them today. Um, I'm going to be riding English Western and Bareback. Toba's going to be riding all three of hers Western. And we're going to just go around and brush everybody. And then we're going to tack everybody up so they're just ready to go. And then we'll grab them as we finish. So we'll see if we get through them all. So it is a beautiful day today here in Michigan. And um, it's like high 40s and sunny. So it's absolutely gorgeous. If anybody has any problem hearing anything, Make sure to mention it in the video so I can make adjustments for where we're gonna be. But this worked out yesterday, so I hope I hope it's okay for everyone. So and we've got Bodie's not gonna ride today, but he is he's actually making uh, I actually let's see. made it. Excuse me, I made it. <laughs> not him. He's just helping me out. He's said he's taking care of Louise. Well, it's those two boxes stacked on top of each other. Okay, so the two boxes over here. Bodie, can you wave, honey? Hey, there's Bodie. He has the chicken named Louise over there, and they are making her a, um, yeah, they made. Uh, well, we're going to put it in the chicken coop so she doesn't have to stay in the poop. They made her a little house, and so Louise and mommy, is just kind of hanging out eating food. Yeah. Mommy, we're cleaning up. Every once in a while, we'll clean the thing. And then we'll put it back to her so it's nice okay. and clean. Well, it's not her. staying there. I know. You know that, it's right? going to go back in the coop. Oh, oh, it's going in the coop? Watch yeah. out for pony butt. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, and somebody just commented on um, the ponytails. Yeah, I finally squeezed my hair into pigtails because it's the only thing I can do with it. So, I'm just doing, doing what I can. I'm rocking a mullet here with not being able to go to get a haircut. So, I'm going to let my kids shave my head. No, I'm going to cut it with scissors to make it look nice. All right, I'm going to brush some horses. She's a furball.
How's everybody doing there? Are you guys still with us? Everybody still hanging on? Why am I glowing? My body's glowing. I think people are still here. How many people we got here? 59 people watching. 60 people watching. That's all right. Oh, yep, there it is. Everybody's there. <laughs> so, just so everybody knows, this was Tova's idea tonight, doing all this. Totally her idea. And Daisy is the worst horse that I have as far as feet go. She's pretty much a stinker with her feet, so Tova's doing a really great job with her. I'll do her back feet, or at least hold them up. You're doing her back feet. Yeah, I will. She'll get better at it. Should we, actually, what I could do is show them the trick that we do with her back feet. Where I use the rope. That'd be a really good thing to show people so they can see what we do with a horse that's really, really not good with their feet. And I can do the same for Bear. Bear has the tendency, if you've ever had a horse that likes to jerk their foot away from you or slam it down, that's what Bear does with his hind feet. Daisy just likes to kick people. So um, if you touch her feet, <laughs> she'll kick. Bear has not been ridden in a month, and neither has Daisy. Neither has B Muffin. Um, my three have been ridden. Bear, he's like, 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 But see, I have those problems. A lot of people are like, oh, well, my horse was really great when I went to look at him, or my horse does this, or he doesn't listen. And basically, all it is is timing. So I can feel when this horse is about to pull away from me, and I can prevent it, where Toma doesn't have that kind of timing yet. She's going to, but it's just a matter of doing it. And I'm a little stronger than she is. If you quit when your horse does something that you don't want it to do, then you're giving that horse a reward. You're releasing at the wrong time. Now, I'm also going to say that we want to try to be as efficient as we can. So, I would say that Toma does really good. She likes to make sure that a horse's feet are perfectly cleaned out. And I'm going to say just stop right there before he pulls away from you. Okay, stop. Now take his foot and set it back down gently. He was a very good boy. Okay, go ahead. Here, do the other front foot. She's bad. I'm going to grab my rope. I'm going to show you guys how I work on horses who have a tendency to pull away or kick with their back feet. This is a, yeah. This is called a hoof jack, and this works really good for kids to clean out a horse's feet because then they don't have to hold it up the whole time.
When you're holding up his foot, all of a sudden he just takes his weight and he slams his foot down. And it's a big enough problem where I needed to move on to something besides just my body to hold. So I'll hold up his foot, and I, I should have done this a long time ago, but um, I actually talked to Buck Brandeman about this. And basically what's happening is Bear knows exactly how long it should take to pick out his foot. And if he thinks it's any longer than that, he just goes ahead and, and takes it away. So. Um, I've had him checked by a vet. There's nothing physically wrong with him that he can't hold up his feet. It's just a matter of, well, I don't want to stand on three legs. So this is what I do to work with him. So go grab your pick. So, yes, sit. You have to do his back. I am going as soon as you're ready. Louise loves her new little box house. She was sweeping in it. Mommy, Louise, when I open the door, she was laying down in there. Okay, good. Get your pick and pick out your pony's feet. Now, this is, uh, I'm using the Buck Brandeman um, Extra Soft Horse Rope from King's Saddlery, or from King's Rope, I mean. And as you can see, I just hold it. And he might bounce around a little bit. He's not done this in a while, but I'm just going to hold it.
like it just like you normally would. Now, I've had a toe broke before from my awesome horse, Poco. He just pulled his foot out of my hand one time and slammed it down on my toe, and gosh, that took a really long time to heal. So I am very um, particular about how my horses are with their feet. As you can see, he's not troubled by this at all. I've done a lot of growth work with my horse's legs, and I need this pony to be safe for everybody to pick his feet. He doesn't try to kick, he just simply slams his foot down. You see that? I'm gonna hold him until he stands there quiet. Good, go up and pet him on the hip again. Yep, you just gotta go back down through the motions. And that way Tova can get out of the way safely there. Good, that's good right there, Tova. Stop. So, <laughs> and we're gonna do it one more time because you're gonna let go. You're gonna let go while he's in there. Do it again. He just took a big old deep breath. Pat him on the hip. Slide your hand down his leg. Good job. And just kind of pretend you're gonna pick it. Beautiful, now stop. Ta -da! And I'm just gonna hold it for another moment. I do not let this go while he's pulling on me. We gotta do the other one too. So, and there, that was really nice. So that's the thing, is when I'm just holding this, he physically outweighs me and he knows that. And he can just take that foot right away from me, but with the rope, he's not gonna get a release until he's good. And now this is a habit that he had from day one when I got him, so. Toba, come back here. Toba. hobbling a couple horses. This is the first step to hobbling, making sure that they can have their legs rolled. Come on over here, Toe. Okay, Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy. Come here, little. Here, little. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> they can't see you. I gotta tilt that. Hold on. I'm gonna move this way. Ow! And this is how I ended up with her. Mommy, I did it like that so she, they can see what you're doing. Okay, that's good. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. So the farrier, Toba, get your face Trace rain, ha ha ha. Yeah, get your face out of there. The farrier that used to trim Daisy is the one who hooked me up with her. All right, oh, I'm not gonna walk away yet. Ugh. If this little one had been a big horse, there's no way that she would have, I mean, I, I can't imagine that she would have made it into My worm. anybody's. My I'm guessing She's she probably so would have been put down before sad. she even got to me. My face so is blowing. Get your face no, it's not. Okay. So, same thing. Go around here. Go around. Tova, get around me. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. So just wait. 
I don't. I'm gonna wait until she's quiet with this. <laughs> she's had this done about a hundred times. It just doesn't get done consistently enough. so everybody can see. And the first person to say that this is mean, you can come pick her up and she can come live with you, okay? All right. And you're more than welcome to watch the videos of Daisy in the pasture kicking the snot out of other horses. you for the petting part, honey. You're doing a great job. Come on over. Good. Right, walk up and pet her now. Walk up and pet her, please. Good. Don't make her feel like she needs to move. No, no, no. She can't go anywhere, honey. There. Go up and pet her again. Look at Bear just standing there like. Good. Now step away. I want you to pet her like on the withers. Not on her face, because if she flings her head, I don't want you to get bumped. Which where? Those yeah, are there's right, right where. Here? Yep, yep. Nope, up a little bit higher. <clears throat> right 
Right here is their withers. That's where they really love to be scratched. Oh, when they're babies, that's where their mama scratches them. Make sure you guys can see good enough. Okay. Here we go again. Just hold. As soon as she's soft, I let go. But when she starts biting me, I let her go. Or I hold on tight. There. Good girl. Hey, Joe. So come down, rub her on the withers, and then rub her on the hip. And just kind of rub your hand down her leg a little bit. Good. And just keep rubbing her. Good. Now here's the thing, here's what I want you to look for. Before she starts to struggle, that's when I want you to like retreat, okay? Watch Barrett is a nibble on you. I am not in any way pulling this mini backward. I only have enough pressure on here to hold her foot up. She does not need to be pulling on the rope like that. need to be worked on. Look at how much nicer that one is. Which 
interested in riding her, she needs to be able to pick up her feet. So I've got to make sure that she's good about this. Just picking up her feet every six to eight weeks to trim her isn't going to work anymore. She needs to actually, like, pick up her feet and be good about it. She's real tight still. As soon as she relaxes, I'll put it down. But can you rub her on the hip again? There. See if you can kind of rub it down a little bit. Good girl. Yeah, now go back up to the hip. Good. Now to the withers. Good. Okay. This is my favorite. Look at that. Ears are up. She is good. Now I'm going to grab that pick and support her. You just never know what you're going to have to work on in a day. And look at how much horse hair I got from just rubbing her withers. standard procedure now every single time <laughs> it's just kind of become standard procedure now every single time somebody picks out bear's feet I hold it up with a rope because then he can't pull it out of their hands it just becomes such a habit so quickly that I it needs to be fixed period so from this point moving forward I know what to do to fix it just to never let it become a problem so if I ever think that a horse is going to be um, having a hard time with their back feet, I'll make sure that I put a rope on them and hold them. Um, Bodhi, I don't know where he went. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that you got all their girths nice and clean pulled up. Oh my gosh. You go get Bear's stuff, honey. Bear's what stuff? What? His, what? um, what? go what? grab your saddle pad. Is he the first one I'm riding? Um, sure. Who's the first one you're riding? I don't know. I think you should ride. Kupcha. Okay. And I think next I'm going to ride Daisy to get her over. I'll ride Kona when you ride Daisy. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. And often you can ride. Yep. Um, you know what we need to do? We you need, need to go get your saddle pad. 
Grab your cinch, please. Rosie cinch because she doesn't have one. Daisy doesn't have her own, so we're using Rosie. That'll work. Say go up to that pole and just just start on it. Jason is back here now. You're not here? You're kind of here. You missed the rodeo at Daisy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What um, happened? Her back feet. I put a rope on her. Held her feet because she was... Okay. My daughter just ditched me. She's supposed to be getting her pony right. She's too busy showing her dad. Chicken is sleeping in the house that the kids made for her. She is legit sleeping. Somebody needs to make some good quality mini tack because I tell you, it's so hard to find good stuff for ponies and small horses and minis. All garbage.
So Jason is watching the video and the chat from a distance. And with a little bit of encouragement, I think that he would be happy to come over and visit with you guys and maybe answer some questions while we're doing this. So if you guys want to give him a little encouragement, I think we could probably convince him. Hi, Violet. How are you? So, I'll see if I can read some of these while we're doing it. Um, all right. Yeah, so the giant thread spools are actually uh, spools that we get from big, uh, like, high wire, wire the uh, underground cabling. And so when they get rid of them, they don't have a use for them, so we get them. And the kids like them. They paint them up. Uh, they use them to ride around in the summers and store stuff on there that we probably shouldn't store stuff because it gets cluttered, but uh, it seems to work pretty good. Um, what's the most awesome thing I know about Brandy? Um... The most awesome thing. So um, she has incredible drive. Like if she has a problem or she has uh, something that she wants to learn, like, she won't sleep for days trying to figure it out. Um, she just, uh, she's a little obsessive compulsive, um, but it's a good thing for the most part. Unless we have to be somewhere, then we're always late. So that's the, that's the bad part about it too. Um, Violet, I'm good. You guys are uh, enjoying uh, the weather down there, I suspect. So it's still got snow here. So kind of wish we were down fishing with your dad and hanging out down there. Uh, but maybe next year. Um, yeah, she she doesn't like it when I uh, when I bring up some of the things that are, everyone knows about her. Um, let's see what other ones we have here. Uh, someone wanted to know uh, what I think about this crazy life with kids, animal, horses. Um, I would not call my wife crazy. She's definitely passionate. Um, but I don't know, our life has always been kind of like this. Um, it's always been really, really super busy um, and uh, kind of chaos, organized chaos, non organized chaos, just chaos. Um, but we just kind of, that's kind of how we do it. It's kind of how we roll. We, uh, we schedule what we need to schedule, and then the other stuff, we kind of just go with it. So honestly, like, it's not anything different than we normally do. Um, it's just it's just who we are. We have we both have a lot of drive and a lot of passion about stuff, and we just try and fill it all in and do it all. So, um, oh, how does it feel? How how do I feel owning Brandy's favorite horse? Pretty pretty good. We actually had that discussion today. So if she ever left me, I get the horse, and so. It's just the way it works. So hopefully that's incentive for her to let not leave. Um, but it's it's funny because uh, is, is, are we talking about are we talking about Nika? What? Are we talking about Nika or Manzer? Mommy, look at probably both. You want those? Yeah. You want to try this? So um, so Nika was um, the horse that Brandy competed on a lot, and that was the first horse I bought. And actually, that horse was born right there. Um, the first time I ever saw that horse, it was in this barn. We didn't own it at the time, which is kind of fun. And, uh, um, yeah, so then Brandy rode it a lot, and she competed on it 
all over the Midwest and parts of the nation. And then uh, by default, uh, Manzer has to have my name on it because I have my name on the papers for Nika. So um, I don't know, it feels pretty good. It's like the only thing I have over sometimes. Um, how did we meet? They want to know how we met. Okay. So um, we both worked at a clothing store. Um, and I worked in the, the men's suit department, which is kind of funny. And she worked in the shoe department. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Like, uh, obviously, I thought she was a pretty good looking girl and uh, introduced myself. And I think a week later, we were. We were dating, so that's just how it worked. <laughs> no, the paperwork's not done for Manzer yet. I think Brandy's uh, stalling to see if I die before it happens. I'm just kidding. They asked if the paperwork for Manzer was done yet. No. And I said, I said, no, I think she's stalling to see if I die before it has to happen. <laughs> Um, so let's see, what else? Hi, Roxanne. Uh, Night Maiden, thank you very much. It's so nice of you. Um, let's see what other ones I'm missing here. Oh, they want to know who my favorite or least favorite horse is. Okay. Huh. Does it have to be living or dead? Does it have to be living or dead? Um, just so you know, if you want to look for action, you should look for these two channels. Oh, who is this it? This one. Oh, who is that? Danny the Horse Girl, yeah. and you should look at Versatile Horsemanship, the one that this is. So you should look at these two because they they have fun in them. Just yeah. so you know, they right. have a lot of um sports. Like um, mommy, did you video? Do you have a YouTube video when we were? Uh, horses were pulling us in sleds. Yep. Yeah. There's, one. There's that one when when one of our sleds broke. It's in the just for fun playlist. Just for fun. So you can look, you can just look for just for fun, and there'll be all like fun and games with our horses. So you can look there, and also if you want to have experience when this Corona is done. You can come here for lessons, or you could get one of these. There you go. So, there. Good job. High five. So what's your favorite and least favorite horse? What's your favorite and what's your least favorite? My favorite horse? Does it have to be alive? No. Hmm. Don't, don't do that. You're hitting the camera, sweetheart. Um, my favorite horse? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It would... So, um... My favorite horse is Nika, because she was my first horse. Mm -hmm. um, but I have another one, too. I have... Uh, nope. I have Missy. Missy? Yep. Um, Toba, you're going to... You keep knocking the camera. Please stand over here. Stand over there. Um, because Missy's the one that taught me how to ride. Mm -hmm. I was a terrible rider until I had Missy. And then Missy, like... Can explain who Missy is? So, there, which video is it? Misty. No, the worst, the worst thing about horses. The worst, the worst part of owning horses. Yeah. So the video is called "The Worst Part of Owning Horses." And and can I talk about her? Yeah, but let me let me finish the story first. I, I want to talk about. You want to tell the story? I want. I want to say. Oh yeah, you can say that. Go ahead. Um, she was Miss Kitty's mom. Miss Kitty just died maybe a week or two ago. I don't know. It was not long ago, so we had to bury her. And. Yep. So. And her and her and her mom are both. So, yeah. yeah. So, so Missy was Miss Kitty's mom, and and Missy, Missy was. Uh, she had an attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, both of them had an attitude. Miss yep. Kitty sometimes had an attitude That's true. with them. Other, she liked privacy. Yep. But the, the good thing about go. Missy was that if you didn't ride her well, mm -hmm. she would let you know. Yeah. Wouldn't she? 
Yeah. And so, and so she taught me how to ride well because she would not, she didn't like it when I was riding her if I wasn't doing it well. Um, Mom and Bear do that really okay. good. So does Lucky. He tells us, because they give us a signal, yeah. they kind of like put their ear kind of back just halfway. Yep. And, that, and, I, and I know, like, this is good, this is amazing, mm -hmm. this is sort of, you're not, you need to fix something. Mm. This is, I'm going to buck you off, and this is, you're in trouble. All different levels of the ears? Yeah. Daisy always there's Mommy trouble. Mommy does that, too. Daisy is always there's trouble, so. Mommy does that, too. Okay, so let's <laughs> do Sam riding Petra first. Yes, I'm riding bear first, so you're riding Petra first. Okay, get your helmet, baby. Oh, oh. Get your helmet. So. Well, th thank you, Lucy. Um, there was a couple other questions here. Um, am I going to ride one of the horses? We'll see. Um, maybe not. We'll see. But uh, um, 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 who else? Where did I come up with the names for our kids? Um, so Tova... We have, we have a friend named Tova, and uh, we just always really liked her name, and um, um, just kind of, I don't know, we just wanted to have unique names for our kids, and uh, we asked if, uh, we just, well, we didn't really ask, we said we're going to steal her name, and we're going to name her, and that's what we did, and then Bodhi, um, same thing, we just really liked the name, and wanted a unique name for our, our son, and that's kind of how we came up and with And now those. everybody's kids named Bodhi. And there's a lot of kids named Bodhi. <laughs> yep. yep. So uh, it's 7 o'clock right now, and I just want to say that it took us one hour to brush all these horses, saddle all these horses, work on a naughty pony's hooves, mess around with the chicken, and yeah. That's, so that's what, I'm pretty happy with that. So now we're going to ride, Toby's going to ride Bear, I'm going to ride Petra. We'll get a little ride on them and then we'll swap out. So Jason will hang out and talk with you guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around and he can answer questions and stuff while we're riding, okay? You can do that. Cool. All right. What is Brandy's maiden name? Are we doing that? You, That's it's, why. It's up to you. You're searchable. <laughs> Her maiden name was Hendrickson. Um. All right. Oh, uh, Joan, uh, thanks uh, from Long Island, New York. You guys, uh, you guys have a lot going on there. Stay safe. Um, Just so you know. Oh, there's a chicken. This is our last time seeing her before don't, we don't. Um, ride. So she's gonna say uh, toodaloo for now, but she'll be back before the end of the video. Okay. Bye. You gonna go put her in her in her home? Yep. Okay. The same way she kept her in there before. She just closed the door. She doesn't seem terribly bothered by it. Um, okay. um, Brandy, what, what kind of boots do you have on? Right now, I'm wearing double boots that I've had for like 12 years. Yeah, those are, like she said, I don't know if you heard her, but they're Dublin River boots. And she says she, she really likes them. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Let me turn this around so we can kind of start to see what's going on. Um, maybe, maybe you let me go to the other side. We could kind of put it back in here. Yeah, and you could kind of move it around so people could see. I think that would probably be a good idea. Okay. What do you think? Do you guys like that? Is this a good spot? You know what? You're not in charge. I'm not in charge, sorry. No, get on your horse. <laughs> sorry, guys. All right. Hi, Bodie. Oh, Bodie's back. Bodie's back? It's crooked. It's kind of crooked. There, that's better. I'll be back. Where are you going? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get a chair. Oh, okay.
All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? All right, cool. Do you want to make a quilt for the chicken? Um, so let me get back to this. Hey, if you're going to talk. I'm not talking. Okay. Because, like, that's not part of the deal. Like, you lost privileges. Um, so you're talking I am going to say something, though. Um, watch not, it and see. No, no, no. no. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bodie, go put the chicken okay, away. Okay, Bodie, go put the chicken away. <laughs> Bodie, go put the chicken. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously, go Bodie, put it away. Oh my gosh. You either collect more carrots. Don't put the chicken on your face, you, honey. Or you send it back in there and you watch it dry. Hold on, put Bossy your brother around. Mommy, can you please get some girls? Friday, Friday night, Friday night reality with the rolling family. <sighs> All right. Can I watch a movie tonight? Hold <laughs> on. All right, I'm going to move this a little bit so people can kind of see what's going on here. I have a cameraman tonight. Isn't that great? Oh, I always wanted one of those. Too far. There we go. All right, so what else we have here? Um, 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 um. Oh, my gosh, I need to do this name. Totally yeah, so the round pen... Uh, Kathy, the round pen's not in the arena anymore. Hopefully it's never in the arena again. That's something that Brandy and I argue about frequently. I need it sometimes. I hate it in here, and I don't it's a have pain. I a good spot for the round because, pen to be, and I need to use it. Hey, you're not supposed to be talking. When, <laughs> when, when Brandy puts the round pen in here, it takes like two weeks worth of work to get the arena back to where it's supposed to be because everything gets trashed. So anyway, it's outside, and we're probably going to be building an outdoor arena in the next year or so. Not in the woods. No, not in the woods. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan, but, uh, but no, I don't like it in here and <laughs> Bear is using a bitless bridle. It's just a leather. It's, it's very old. Tara made it for me. No, Tara didn't make the bridle. She I made the ring. Who I is this it. on last? This is like way too small. Um, but so we'll see how he does with it. He usually does pretty good regardless of what. Is that a Solomon vest? No, it's like Columbia, I think. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing special about Brandy's vest. It's just a Columbia you know, vest. Every or something. single video that I wear, oh. somebody oh, asks. Get off me, cat. Ow. <laughs> Jason's definitely allergic to cats. Yes. And um, Lila just came over and put her claws in. She, every single cat wants to just hang out on me. And, and he loves them. He just, he just can't handle allergic them. Allergic to them. Yep. Uh, so, Brandy, uh, Violet, oh, asked, what? Violet asked what uh, English glove she should get. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, I, I like SSG gloves. Uh, look down in the description of the video. I've got a link to some gloves. I believe the brand is SSG. Uh, I love them. So see if you can rock. find that brand. Those are you great. Do you remember the rock quilt? Hi, Beck. I didn't see that you were on here before. Sorry. I just answered two questions that you already answered. Uh, they look like you're going to fall Thank you, Joan. That's nice. Daddy, what's your least favorite horse? Um, my least favorite horse? Mm-hmm. Oof. That's a hard one. Mommy's is lucky. Yeah. But I gave all my reasons. Hey, hey, hey. What's yours? I don't know. <laughs> Which one? Daisy. Um, I, my least favorite, this isn't a mirror, sweetheart. Okay, tell all your stuff's ready. Go, go take okay, care of your pony. Everybody how you shoot me up on um, the horse. Okay, wait, 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 you gotta get up on the horse. So, uh, 
I don't know, who is my least favorite horse? I have many. Then tell us all of your men's least favorite horses. Everyone but Nika. That's not true. But I don't know, it kind of rotates because like when something horses are just being just. Jason doesn't like the ones that create inconvenience of any sort. Yeah. We're, the, I mean, these are actually yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's a good way of putting that. Yeah. So any that makes life difficult, but not in a like, you know, like. I don't mind. I don't mind the work. Or like I don't, I don't mind, for I don't, them when they're old. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind any of that. What I mind is when they're just, when they just, they just do something dumb, and then that that something that something bit. dumb then turns I'm into like a stupid expensive vet bill or a uh, fence that I have to go fix because they just lost their mind. Or what other things do I, Brandy, what other things do I hate? Like, what other things do I hate? You don't like, like, the breaking of the fence, the fighting, the, um, any horse that causes grief to other horses. Like, Bruno is probably your least favorite horse that ever existed. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's true. Yeah. So it would probably be Bruno. It would probably be Bruno. Nobody knows him. He got rid of him a long time ago. Yeah, he's no longer here. Um, Who's that? Like really, really bad. Who's that? Bruno? Yeah, he hurt yeah. Petra and Nika really bad. Yeah. He acted very steady. Um, tried to kill Petra when I first got her. It was awful. Now, Tova, you walked him for quite a while, okay? He's going to be funky today. Lucky to defend the monster, yeah. Um. Oh, hey, Tova. Angela wants to know what your least favorite horse is. Ooh. Choose wisely. So who is it? Who is it? Daisy and Nellie, and she said Daisy will be one of her top favorites when she gets her a little more trained. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
be quiet because you're the one that sent me here. It's, I'm like the wedding singer, right? So like, I've got the mic, so you have to listen to every damn thing I have to say. Shush. All right. So, um, back to my story before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, it's called the Grand Entry. Um, and there's usually like a lot of <clears throat> really loud music and, you know, uh, everyone kind of runs as fast as they can around the arena. And then, uh, then you kind of get ready for, uh, um, you kind of get ready for the rest of the events. So I had spent a lot of time with Tuffy and I was when I was riding quite a bit with when Randy, um, and, uh, it, we were kind of warming up before the uh, grand entry. Like, there's like four hours before that. We were in the arena, and then it's like you know they were letting some cows out, and they were there were other people warming up and doing stuff. And uh, anyway, uh, Tuffy went to bucking. <clears throat> he put his head down and he went to bucking. And I rode the buck out, and he looked just like he came out of the stocks. Like, he was, he was, he was in it to win it. And uh, I rode the buck, and then on the last one, he flipped me off his back and over his head. And I did a complete flip in the air, and I landed on my feet facing Tuffy, and I still had the reins in my hands. And he stopped, and I stopped. We kind of looked at each other, and uh, I got back on. Yeah. Not the little red one, but what? Oh, the little red one is. The one with kind of, kind of scrapey. Mommy, it's not there. No, it's out in the bucket. Remember? I forgot that one. Oh, okay. It's too hard to read between that one. Which one? Is, one. You want this one? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wish we would have had. I wish we would have had video on that, uh, Sister Wendy, because like it was, it was, it was legit. Like, it was probably one of the only times I've ever seen my wife go, "Holy cow! How the heck did you do that?" And it was actually really cool. Because like it was literally a complete flip where like head facing the ground, legs over the top, and landed on my feet and no one got hurt. It was, it was legit, it was cool. All right. Um, oh yeah, like you? Yeah. Yeah, honey. Hi Marla. How's Nika and Manzer? Sassy, overweight, they're doing good. Yeah, uh, Tom, um, yeah, you're right. Every single horse has its own personality. Um, it's funny because um, the more we do this, and Brandy's obviously does this for a living where I, you know, I, part, I help out, but nowhere near what she does. And uh, um, the, uh, when, we, when we go see a horse, or like if we're in an area where like, or if a horses are coming here for training or whatever, you can, you could almost, you could almost pick a group of people and stick them on the sidelines and then put their horses in the field. And I can almost pick which horse goes to which person. Horses oftentimes take on the personalities of their owners and um, <clears throat> they definitely have their own personality. That is for sure. Um, 
Masters equine. Yeah, there's there's lots of horses in the pasture that I haven't ridden. Um, what's my least favorite thing about owning horses? Yeah, hey. Yeah, so like owning horses is like in doing hay is the definition of insanity. Like, so I think like the true definition of insanity is, is doing something over and over again, expecting a different result. And like, so we, we go and we buy these animals that need to eat hay. And so then we go to a field and we, we grow this hay. And then we go back and we cut this hay. And then we put it into big square things that are heavy. And we grab those big square things that are heavy and we stick them on top of a trailer. And then we pull that trailer for a couple of hours, and then we unload said trailer and stick them back up in a hay barn. And oh, by the way, none of that is fun. And then we take that hay and we spend more gas and more time and we put the hay in the back of something so we can take it out to the pasture so we can give it to the horses so they can eat the hay. So then they can poop it out. And then in the spring, we gotta go clean up all the poop from the hay and then, so we can go put it on the field so we can grow hay. It's just, it's insane. It, it makes zero sense. That's my least favorite. All right, anyone else here? Um, Eddie King, um, are you a captain in the Army? Um, I, I, I appreciate the, uh, for the service. I, I used to be a captain. Um, I've, I've progressed past that now, but uh, I used to be a captain. I'm a, I'm a major now. Um, Yeah, Tova's, Tova's quite the little rider. She's going to be pretty awesome. There's no doubt about it. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, Missy, Missy, yes. Uh, no, Look, anything you do is going to be a, uh, a lot of work. I don't care what it is in life. And you just have to decide what you enjoy. And, you know, I, I, I rag on the hay a lot, too. But, I mean, it's such a small part of owning the horses. But, you know, it's just, it's just part of the deal. Um, um, but if there was a magic way for me not to have to do hay, I'd be cool with that and still have horses. So... Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Um, I don't want to say it wrong, but Andalusia X7. Yes, uh, a major is higher than a captain in the, in the U.S. Army. Um, Joan, who polishes and cleans the saddles and tack? Uh, it's kind of everyone. Actually, Beck's on here. She's done a lot of that. <laughs> um, but... Uh, you know, it, it kind of goes in shifts, and whoever's available, we usually do big pushes of that once or twice a year. Um, Eddie, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, uh, Joan, I'm I'm on active duty right now because of the COVID stuff. But I'm I'm uh, I'm in the, the the guard now. I was active duty for quite some time. Um, I've got 20. How many years do I have in? 23 almost. 23 years or something. So I'm getting close to retiring from the military. So. Um. Oh, Beck. Beck wants to know how much I would sell Manzer to Brandy for. I don't know. I don't know. It Manzer's going to be expensive. 
Beck, I don't know. It, it's it's over ten ten thousand dollars, Beck, for sure. It's over ten thousand. Um. Yeah, Beck. Yeah, I I like the days the semis actually arrive too, Beck. On time would be great. Um. Andalusia X7, it depends on the horse. It depends on the horse. Rex, thank you very much. Uh, 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 uh. Carrie, uh, it's a good idea. Like your your point was good uh, for Missy is that leasing is always a really good uh, good way to kind of put your feet into it. For a couple of reasons. One is, <clears throat> A, it's way less expensive. It's a lot less work to start out with. And, and all of those like random things that can happen with horses, you're not really liable for. So if there's a big vet bill or something that happens where a horse like, you know, injures itself and you've got to do all that care, it's, it's really not your responsibility when you're leasing a horse. And so to start to see if you have a flavor for it, and if it's something you really want to do, it's a great, it's a great option. Um, who's the first horse Tova ever cantered on? Huh? Who's the first horse you ever cantered on, Tova? Nika with me. Was it Nika? Oh, no, I mean by myself. Oh, by yourself? Well, she, how old was she when she cantered? Miss Kitty was the first one she ever cantered on. Yeah, Miss Kitty. Yeah, Miss Kitty. And, and then the second one Miss Kitty. cantered on was Bear, and the third I cantered on Ebony. Tova, if she sneezes on me again, I'm going she... to leave. Knock it off. Pull it away. You Pull mean away. him. Oh, yeah, him. Stop it. Mm. You're him, he's there. Yes, that still doesn't mean that I want to be sneezed on. Okay, so... Uh... So pull your pony down, please. Huh? Oh, Ding Dong wants to know I'm if I... If I would rather run on a horse or, str or just, like, cruise on a horse, what do we think? Yeah, I would, if, if I could run a horse wide open 24-7 and never have to worry about injuring that horse, I would do it. I love to run on a horse. Um, Jason, do you ride Nakona? I have ridden Nakona. Um, I don't ride uh, Nakona frequently. Oh, Nakona's going to be the one, that, one of the ones that mommy rides. Uh, oh. No, yeah, I'm riding Daisy next. You're gonna be for a wild ride, maybe, because I might be having a bucking bronco ride, like I did once. Um, let's see here. Cause I once had a bucking bronco ride on her. They were back, and I didn't. You guys kick it up though, right? Mommy, remember, the, remember when the first time I rode Daisy at horse camp? I, I was riding her own with my the bear, everything on her. I didn't even run. Oh, her. this and is. I just sat on her, and she started bucking. This is this is this is a good question. What? Tracy Rain wants to know what do we think that we would do for a stud fee for Manzer if we decide to keep him? I have no idea. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Just saying. Don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess I would have to ask other people who are. I'm gonna I'm gonna do trots and socks. No, I I don't know I don't know uh, what what he would be. I don't know. Um, oh, and also, is, I will bring Louise out here before we ride. Well, I, I heard you. I'm talking to people. I, 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 they heard you, too. Go on and ride. Go. Oh. All right. So, um, what generation horse person is Tova? Oh, that's, uh, well, you had your great-grandfather. Fourth generation. What about what about before your great grandfather? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know that maybe they used horses for everything. They did that harder. Yeah. 
Um, so I guess Tova is a fourth generation. Um, so let's see. What else? Um, Is Brandy a better horse than, than I am? Without question. <laughs> yes. though, though I would say she's, she's, she's better at a lot of things than I am, there's no doubt. Uh, you're, but you're way better than her at skiing. I'm, better, I'm a better skier than Mama, yes. Yes. Um, but I would not say I'm a bad rider. Oh, no, you're a great rider. Um, but Brandy is definitely better than I am. Um, how many horses does your mom have? Uh, well, my mom only owns two now. Yeah, she only owns two, but at one time, how many did she own? I don't know. Too many. Too many. Yeah. Um, you know what? Our grandma, my, my mom, mom, actually asked mommy if she could, if she could breed Gitta. Maybe oh, yeah. Gitta. Oh, yeah. My, my mom uh, would consider breeding her mare to Manzer if I do keep him a stud. Oh. So then she would have three horses. Yeah. Um, so, Joan, I don't know how many horses that Brandy's mom has, but I, I know that it was over 10 at one time. But she had a boarding facility, and there were over 30 there at one time back in the day. The most she ever had there is 35. 35 horses that she had at the boarding facility. I don't know if you could hear Brandy. Holy cow, that's more than you have. Um, um, oh. You, Tracy, you mean what would I charge Brandy for studying out Manzer? I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be at least 60% I get on the take. So. I would, I would <laughs> give him a stud so we can breed Nakona. Yeah, no, we can breed Nakona. Cool. I know, oh. but if we would breed, I think Nakona is wrong. Oh, Petra feels so good today. Oh, look at how nice and soft she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so Andal Andalusia X7, we've, we've talked a lot lately, a lot, about keeping him a stud or not to keep him a stud. We're not sure what we're going to do yet, um, but, um, but we're definitely considering it. There's no doubt. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a pretty amazing, praising, amazing little uh, occult, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, Oh, Joan, Joan, we're not, we're not, we're not going to ever get rid of Manzer. He's, he's here to stay. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'm gonna lose battery on this pretty quick. Are you? Mm. Can you plug it into my? Do you have more than one pack out here? Or no? What's that? Oh, and you can always just turn that camera around. Hi. Go. Ta -da. Ta -da. No, gentle, gentle. Good. All right, pop down, sweetheart. Let's go get to the next one. Does this one last quite a while? Maybe. Huh? Does this one last quite yeah. a while? See what we got next here. Oh, am I coming in there again? What? Am no, I... you can stay there. We'll be right back. Okay. You can just talk to everyone. So I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to. Dad, tell them that I'm gonna be soon in here before we ride again. I'm gonna be in here before we ride. Come here, real quick, for a second, Jason. If you push. All right, Dad. Just leave them there. So if I don't run up behind you. All right. I gotta help. Now we are 
are doing number two horse. <laughs> and the chicken's back. Two horses. And the chicken's And back. I will be gone until the next horse. So, so as soon as we're done riding each horse, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you which number we are. <laughs> and I'm going to show you which are feathers. So now we're at two. Be careful with the wind. And also she's, she's having a great time in her little house. <laughs> After I'll show you her house. Up close. Inside. All right. Masters Equine. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if we have it Bernie's way, we'll probably end up breeding Manzer to something and getting another, another, uh, another little one out of that. Um, Barb, thank you. Yeah, you know, Bernie spends a lot of time uh, making sure that these, our, our horses are, are good for anybody um, and well-mannered and have good ma manners around other people and respectful. It's just uh, where we are, it's just too dangerous not to have uh, solid horses. So I appreciate that. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, Nika is, uh, is kind of a one of a kind. Uh, Though Manzer's got a lot of Nika's uh, personality, which is nice to see, uh, so we're both uh, we're both pretty happy with that. Uh, and Lucia, yeah, uh, Tova is a bit of a ham. She loves to. She's not she's not camera shy. Let's just put it that way. So my mom changed the idea. So now we're doing Muffin Blossom next. So you can do Muffin Blossom. Mhm. Mm and next is my Buck and Bronco ride. You're, no, hopefully not. I love when she bucks. It's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, Brandy, what? how did you pick Manzer's dad? Uh, because a good friend of mine owns him, and I saw him at, you know, I've him multiple times, and I really like all of her horses. <clears throat> she uh, So Masters Equine wants to know what my favorite horse color is. And I'm going to answer this, but I'm going to put a disclaimer in it. So truth be told, I picked Nika because I always wanted to have a Palomino. And she, I just happened to fall into a situation where, you know, I found a, a perfect horse with, a, uh, with the color that I wanted. However, and I, I'll be very clear on this, don't ever buy a horse because you, just because you like the color. I got lucky. There's a lot of times that it doesn't happen and um, you'll end up with something that looks beautiful and is not what you want or need at all. And it's a mean horse. And it could be a mean horse, yep. So. Like Daisy is. <laughs> Man, Daisy's not mean. She's awfully cute. But she is mean to other horses. She, she'll be like, there's this one video that just, it doesn't have mommy talking at all. She's just like, ee, ee, and another horse. I'll show you what she was doing. She's doing this. Ee, ee, and, she's, ee. and she's kicking at stuff. And she'll back, she'll back and then go, ee, and she'll squeal. You ready to get on your horse? Okay, go get on your horse. I have my breath. We can film that stuff. So Bear's gonna go out there and pitch a bit now because he's like, same thing as with his feet. He's like, wait a minute, I'm done now. And so he's gonna be all unhappy because he's out there and he's not getting back open. Tova, what's your favorite thing to do with horses? Ride them. Ride them? Can you be more specific? Carts, Can you be more specific? Make them pull us in carts. Do you, do you, do you, and drag us in sleds. You don't make them pull us in carts. They, well, they, enjoy they, it. they they pull us in carts and that they pull sleds. We did an epic sledding thing. There was like Madeline or Beck and Madeline or Beck was going on Nelly and they were on this little plastic blue 
slid, and then it cracked, and now we just went. All right, so um, <laughs> it was kind of like. K okay. Carrie, you, um, you had a good question. Do I do I think that picking a horse is a lot like picking a dog? No, the stakes are much higher. I think that picking a horse is a lot like picking a spouse. My <laughs> spouse. It would be like a like a, a wife or a husband. Hey, your horse is over there. Um, Mama's doing all the work. Go go me help. To move to get some room. Yeah, she's got Carrie there because oh, she's being my all right, sorry, oh, that was on me. So. Yeah, so I think that picking a horse is, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's much more, the stakes are very high. Um, you know, um, yeah. you're going to have, I mean, unlike a dog, I mean, there's some dogs that live forever, but like most dogs, nine to ten years and you're on to a new dog because that's it. They don't live that long. But a horse, I mean, if you're going to be stuck with something for 30 years, um, it is definitely not worth having the wrong, the wrong setup. And frankly, a horse will kill you. Yep. Where, I mean, a dog could too, but it's pretty easy to, you know, train a dog to be gentle and stuff, but the wrong kind of person. Um. Have I ridden a Morgan? You haven't. I have. So let's take her for one. The answer is no. Brandy said no. Um, let's see. So what do I do about picking a dog? Well, I grew up in a family that raised purebred uh, German Shepherds. And so I'm a little picky when it comes to... Um, to dogs um, I think that you know there's a lot of ways to pick a dog obviously um, but I think it's a lot like picking a horse and you need to find the personality that fits the pe person that wants it so um, you know uh, take your time and in and, and that I think I think you'll figure it out when you get in by it but um, for me I've always been very 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 adamant that if the personality is not right the, the dog or the animal's not right. It's just the way it is. Um, again, it's the same, uh, to me, it's the same scenario with, um, you know, picking someone to date. You know, if it's not right, it's not, it's not going to work. So, what choose wisely. Um, I'm going to answer this question and you tell me if I did it right, okay, Brent? Oh, boy. So it's, the question is, um, do I prefer a blank canvas that has not been trained or not been tainted, or do I think that uh, a trained horse is better? Okay, and I'm going to let you answer? Yeah, let me answer okay. it, and then you tell me if, I, if I'm okay. good or not. Okay, so I think it goes... This comes down to experience level. In person? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Shut up. You're just killing me. Like, I, you didn't even follow the rules. I'm just kidding. Um, so, she, she's going to correct me. That's just how it works. Uh, but I think it comes down to, um, you know, the, the experience level of the person um, who's uh, going to be working with that horse. Um, you know, the, the, um, and I'm thinking of how I'm answering this because, uh, um, because like, you know, it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's a, it's a very common thing to want to, to, to get an animal that no one's ever worked with before. So it can be all yours. But if you don't have the experience level to take that from um, the base level all the way through uh, the potential of that animal, then you're doing that animal a giant disservice and yourself. Um, you're better to spend the money on training for yourself 
and education for yourself and good training on a horse and have someone that's going to take the time to teach you um, and maybe even pay a little bit more for a well-trained horse than you are trying to fight through it and install a tremendous amount of bad habits because, um, because you know, you, you didn't necessarily know what you're doing. So I guess that in, like, for instance, in Brandy's situation, I think that a blank canvas is perfect because, you know, she spends a lot of time fixing other people's mistakes on horses. So if she can take a horse from ground level work and do very good training on it and uh, make that into a horse that's going to be safe and sound and, and just a joy to be around, and that's wonderful. Um, but I've been around other trainers that call themselves trainers, and um, I wouldn't let them touch a stuffed animal because they're going to ruin it. And uh, they, it, you know, once a horse is is he's got a ton of bad habits, it can take. 10 times as long to fix it. So I don't know if that answered the question perfectly, but I think that it all depends on who's doing the work. They want you to ride an English saddle next time. I Oh, she is in one. I didn't even look. <laughs> so there. That fast. Yeah. Well, Daisy's never going to wear it in an English style until she's trained. Yeah, but you're going to be riding her English. See? See? Yep. I didn't look. Sorry. Oh, I, I, I guess I didn't see uh, Eddie's question about the roof. I gotta, I guess I gotta go back. Let me see here. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Where's the roof question? I fell through the roof nice. and he wants to know if, if it hurt uh, just my pride it hurt my pride a lot uh, besides that no I wasn't hurt that was a pretty it was a pretty epic uh, winner um, if you look at the other videos on is is the, the when we melted off the other stuff is that is that on the same all, video Yeah, Surviving Winter uh, Horses of Winter Playlist. Go look at that because there's some pretty funny stuff on there. I think there's actually one in there where we're, we were doing the front here. Yep, yep. that's in there. Yep. All right. Um, Snowmageddon. Yeah, snow, <laughs> snow apocalypse. Yeah. Um, Is there a, a difference between a Western English style because I think it's each individual Andalusia uh, uh, for what you like to ride. I mean, I've ridden English. Brandy likes to ride English. She likes to ride bareback, Western. Um, I think it just depends on what you want to do. Um, you know, they're all comfortable if you, if you become a better rider, you know, and it just, they all have different things and different reasons why you ride them, and, you know, I think they're all great. Um, Brandy, what? they want to know what the name of the horse you're riding is. This is Blossom. Blossom and Toho, who are you riding? There you go. Have you ever ridden side saddle, Brandy? Uh, not an actual side yeah. saddle, but I've moved around. Yeah. Um. This is my first time riding English since like October. 
Monica, was your question to me or Brandy for education, history, occupation? What's up, buddy? No, come on over here. Um, all right, uh, Monica, so you're asking me what my history, well, let's see here, where is it, where is it? What is your education, history, and occupation? <laughs> um, okay, um, so my education is, uh, I have a degree in exercise physiology, exercise science, um, and uh, I have a uh, other degree in biology, and um, yeah, so that I guess that's my education. Um, but then I went on to um, work in finance and do some expanded education in finance, and now I'm a uh, um, financial planner, investment management, wealth management, that kind of stuff. Um, my history, what's my history? I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, I came up, I came up here. Um, you were on the U.S. biathlon team and tried out for the 2002 Olympics. Yep, so I guess, I guess the, the short story of that one is I used to be a professional athlete. I used to be a biathlete with skiing and shooting. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what I used to do for a living. So that was fun. And, um, I came to upper Michigan where we live because this is where the Olympic training center was. And I was a member of the U S team and we trained at the Olympic training center. So I did that here. And, um, um, yeah. And so then I, I guess, uh, it was in the military about that time and uh, I don't know deployed a bunch of times overseas uh, Afghanistan places like that and um, we built this place and bought this place and built it up and uh, now I work in finance and um, I don't know I think that's, that's I think that answers all your questions um, let me see here Yep, I think that's it. Um, do you find English harder than Western? No. Brady said no. No, she. Is he singing in the microphone? <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that, but my son has decided that he's going to do a single one-man karaoke show over there in the corner. Now, can you see him over there? Bodie, wave. Bodie. Bodie, wave. Bodie, Bodie John. Bodie John. Yeah, wave, wave over here by the camera. Wave at us. Don't pull too much. It's from Go Noodle. What's that? Why are they called that? Oh, they're a rainbow noodle. Nice. Um, no, he doesn't have stage right. He's, he's a ham too. Thank you, Tracy. I'm pretty fond of our family too. Um,
Thank you, Monica. Um, 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 let's see here. What else we got? Uh, how deep is our arena sand? We've 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 at, we've added to it and taken out um, throughout the years, but I, I would say it's probably what about eight inches? No, 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 no. Six inches. It's at least six inches. It's right there. Three. No. Randy says three. I say six. I, let's just. We're, we're just gonna go with four. Um, Randy, do you know how to do a Spanish walk? No. No. Um, Bodie did have the chicken. He went and put it back away. Um, how did Brandy and I meet? Um, we both worked at the same place, and uh, yeah, I just asked her out, and she was fool enough to say yes. They want to know what breed Blossom is. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, Tom, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, Tom. The, Tom, Tom, you would, you would, uh, you would not be surprised um, how many times we just average the answer so we don't have to argue about it. <laughs> it happens frequently. <laughs> Manzer's a quarter horse. Oh, here you go, Brandy. You can answer this one. Uh, what's the definition of a quarter horse? It's a breed. Yes, it's a basket horse and a quarter mile. Yeah. So if you didn't hear that, um, the, the quarter horse gets its name because it's considered the fastest horse in the quarter mile. Missy said it's the best live stream ever. I'd like to point out that I think it's because I'm here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, Rex, you're probably right. Um, you know, usually we do a lot of care in the arena, um, and we do a lot of a lot of uh, watering and a bunch of other things. Um, we just it's it's been kind of an interesting spring so far. They like your side passes that you throw out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joan. I don't know. We'll see. Her subscribers will probably go down after this. Mommy? Speaking of subscribers, if you haven't subscribed, get on there and do that. That's just nice. Mommy? Just nice to do. What's that? Do you know why it's good to subscribe? Because I'd like them to. What, Bodie? We can't turn it on, Bodie. It doesn't work. Lucas, where are you? Are the, are the horses trained to ride double if needed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we ride double on almost everything. All the time. Oh, Lucas, you're in the Netherlands. Awesome.
channel will get. And it just builds from there. And a channel brings in money from the ads that are in the videos. Or from Super Chat. <laughs> Rex says the, the, the like button's free, so how about you just use yep, it? That's <laughs> Oh, nice to meet you, Rex. Um, that was terrible. What? Because I said no, that? No, 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 no. It's I, not nice to me. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even close to being nice. How many horses have we worked so far? It's four, right? Uh, yeah, we got two more. Two more. Yep. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, she got beat up by those cats. Oh, recently? Where? Show me. That's pretty good for the second ride. But some of it healed. That's good. All right, it's 95 in LA. We're not ready for this. Yeah, yeah. That's why we don't live in LA. Yep. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing uh, Ed here and Yuma, and uh, uh, what's that? Edie. Oh, I'm sorry, Edie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I'm just kind of reading fast. Mary, uh, you're in Tucson. I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's 100 there. At least it's dry, right? It's not humid. So that's good. Her. Oh, you, you want you would like to see a baby from Blossom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mommy said we're gonna breed Blossom someday. We'll see. I might, I might get on a horse, but we'll see. I'm going to have to go change my boots if I'm going to do that. Yeah? They want to know if I like how many horses we have. Do I answer it truthfully or? Okay, whatever you feel like you need to do, honey. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't normally mind how many horses we have. What? I said I don't normally mind how many horses we have. I would not say that I like how many horses we have. Those are two different things, by the way. Um, I'm looking for a rope. This is not what I want to use. The, the challenge with the amount of horses that we have is it's a lot of work. That's just the way it is. Um, can I want so. more? Oh, yes, honey. Of course you can. <laughs> Beck says, remember, less horses, less hay. <laughs> True story, Beck. That's why we have little horses. Uh, they, they want to know, 
Brandy, they want to know what's the thing you are most proud of your wife for doing? Um, um, having, having enough courage to, to start what she does because, and she had a good job. She had, uh, she had a, uh, she, anybody can guess what I used to do. Yeah, yeah, we can go to what it, you have to guess what Brandy used to do. But um, no, so like uh, when when she started doing this, we didn't have a dime. Um, she I was in college. Um, you know, we were we were renting. Um, we uh, we basically sold everything we possibly could. Literally, we sold everything we could. Um, and uh, please don't do that, bud. What is that? That's the battery. Um, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Yes, can, I, can I finish telling them? Can I finish telling them first? Can I just tell you one thing? Yeah, you can tell me something. Go ahead. I got bit by a cat once. I know you got bit by a cat once. Because I was like, when, when I was a kitten, I was rubbing and I got it, I was rolling on the side, yeah. and then, and she was kind of purple, and then, and then yeah. she was kind of purple. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to answer these questions now, buddy, for a second. I think she was purple. Okay, uh, Brandy, you got to listen now. You got to listen. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, I said, I said, what, what were the things that you did, right? And, um... That's fine, but uh, uh, Bodhi, you need to move and not do that. Come on, come over here, please. Come on over here. I love you, but don't do that. Okay, so um, the resounding one out there is teacher. What? People thought you were a teacher. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Um, Monica thinks that you are a yoga and CrossFit gym instructor. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Monica also thought that maybe you were a dancer. <laughs> Jamie thought you were a waitress. What? Um, you were a waitress. I was a waitress at one point. I, I'm a very good waitress. I really like waitressing, actually. Um, but, um, no, I was a waitress, not a cook. Let's see what else. Uh, Lucas thought you were a scientist. Yep. Uh, Sarah thought that you cut hair. Not because I have a mullet. My poor boy no. looks like if, a mullet. No. If she cut hair, I wouldn't have to cut my own. Uh, Joan thought you were an accountant. I could see you as an accountant. You would actually yeah, be good at that. Numbers. Monica thought you were in the military. No, definitely not. I had to do Brandy, Brandy could not handle a day in the military. Oh, and I, no, and the fact that there's no way you're getting up at 4 a.m. That's oh. not happening. Yeah. Mommy, no. you have to kind of look like all those things with the, with the pigtails. <laughs> That's true. You like my pigtails? That's true. Buddy? Yeah, but you look like all those um, things with, with those pigtails. Lucas said psychologist or therapist. Really? She needs one, but she doesn't. She doesn't. I'm just kidding. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need a therapist. Uh, Missy Waitress. She was a waitress at one time, but that's not what she did right before this. I waitress at three different places. Uh, Cinnamon said a nurse. Oh, no. Brandy couldn't do a nurse. I couldn't handle that. No. No, she'd get annoyed and just be like, I'm done with these people. Um, no, 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 that's not true. If it was a nurse for only old folks, you'd do it. Because oh, Brandy, Brandy loves uh, older folks. For sure. Um, I have friends my own age. I people who are like seven. Marketing. Someone said marketing. Which is interesting because now I could see it, but before there's not a chance in hell. But now I could see you doing marketing. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. With those pigtails. Uh, <laughs> pigtails. Navy. I said pigtails. Everyone's going, what else is there? Um, Round the world, baby. Yes, I get <laughs> A part time clown. Or 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 or, or a reverend. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, here's a... Clothing business. Hey, hey. That's true. She, she did work. She sold shoes. I would not say that's clothing. Well, I did other things. You did other things, too. Um, yeah. I worked at a bridal shop at one point. Yep. Okay, so I have a, I have a joke. Wrestler. Bodie has a Someone joke. Someone said a wrestler. Wrestler. <laughs> you would never wrestle. I was briefly on the wrestling team in high school, but that's a whole different story. Um, Bodie, you have a joke. Come here. Come tell your joke. So don't spoil it. Remember? Why don't zombies eat clowns? I don't know. Hey, I read that one! Be because because they, they taste funny. It's <laughs> good. It's a good one. I actually Dude, you're gonna, you're... I found out that joke. Never mind. See? Never mind. See? I read it. My joke told me it. I know, you guys were doing that. Bodie likes to tell jokes. Uh, Someone said rodeo, and and Brandy did. She was on the pro rodeo circuit. She did yeah, that. but it wasn't like. But but you, we spent more money than the bills. We, we spent more <laughs> we spent money than we money made. <laughs> um, we had to make money to spend money at rodeo. Someone said factory uh, worker. Cinnamon said customer service representative. Oh. Cinnamon, I think uh, I think you're on the right track. Trick trainer. Trick trainer. <laughs> uh, And then our final horse, oh, number three, is both spots. And they both used to be maniacs. Well, one of them still is a maniac. Carrie said brain surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> no, Carrie. One of them used to rear up in my mom. When my mom Carrie, if, if she was a brain surgeon, A, I wouldn't be working. Um, and B, uh, I would have a much nicer place. And C, I would not let her quit that. There's no way. No way. <laughs> Chicken breeder. Chicken breeder and receptionist. Jamie is close to. Chicken breeder. Not not the not the chicken breeder part. Not the chicken breeder. But the reception. Two uh, things. Someone said sales. Someone said airlines. Cat therapist. Chicken brain surgeon. Two um, things. Body come here. Am I gonna let I Louise in the house? Back, if Louise comes in the house, and she's gonna be my chicken. I got bit Jason by a horse actually, in the neck before. And oh, Jason no. actually said the other night, he's like, I could, I could handle having Louise in my office. And the she just sleeps on his desk when, whenever, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. Be careful. No, be careful. Here goes. I'm gonna show you something. Buck, 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 buck. See, I have my little buddy. Don't take her off She's my neck. Hey. You're mean. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to tell you. Cody, go put the chicken back and then you can um, sit on my Chicken neck. chiropractor. Chicken chiropractor. Travel I agent. Travel agent. Um, I don't travel well. Yeah, Brandy, Brandy can't. I mean, yeah. Tova, please go get Daisy. Um, Jack, okay. I'm going to take her to you. Um, do I tell them tonight or do I wait? She can go on to the first one, right? No, no, take her through. Oh, you can take her through there. Yep, that's fine. Airline stewardess. Nope, wouldn't handle flying. Mm -mm. No can do. Does Tova know how to ride a horse faster than a, uh, a walk? Yes. Yes, yeah, she just did. <laughs> I can trot. I can canter. Somebody's got a little sass. She's got a little sass on her today. Please go get your pony. Um, Tova has galloped on her pony a number of times. Um, luckily, her pony doesn't want to go that fast, so otherwise. So Muffin, Muffin is actually incredibly fast, and I have actually taken her to rodeos and competed against the big horses and done extremely well with Muffin. She's super fast. I have a couple videos in my speed events playlist that show Muffin and I were racing. I think I was have my GoPro on. Somebody asked this question, which mini would you breed? Huh? Which mini would I breed? Probably neither of them. No, which one would you, if you, if you could breed, twenty, if you would like to breed one of your minis, which one would you breed? Well, Rosie has a better personality, yeah. but I think Daisy has better confirmation, so it's kind of hard. Um, will you take her for a little I think while? Rosie would be better. Bank teller, Gina said. Another one said collections agent. Oops, sorry, Daisy. That came out of her ear. Um, she, she didn't like that. 
Um, hey, Bodie, please come back here. <laughs> Bodie. <laughs> I'm waiting for Bodie so I can put him on his pony so he can hang out here with Jason. No. Bodie, please come here. Hang out with me. Yeah, he wants to sit on the pony. So you're going to hold on to the pony while he sits on it. What? Are you guys bored watching this? No, I'm not you, Bodie. I mean, people. It's 1 a.m. for Sophia. She's still here. <laughs> <clears throat> I can barely get my teeth done. Yeah, you're crooked. Mommy, <laughs> the one lap enough. Daisy is like, uh, like, if she were in puppy, I think she would. You know what's funny? Exactly what's like You know what's funny? What? So they, uh, Donna just said, I think Tova's a mini Brandy and Bodie's a mini Jason. Oh, it's funny because that's like. That's opposite. the opposite. It's opposite. Yeah. Ow, ow. Um, definitely opposite. I'm not, I'm not doing that. You I, have to no, hold her. Bodie's your a child. mini. No, you, He's your I, child. You take Bodie's a mini. Bodie's a mini. I told you some mini you. <laughs> yes, Tova. He is your no, child. No, he's not. Tova, you're like. I'm. I got this. All of this is. I am. Comes from I am employed. Like, here, no. Here, you need to hold her. I'm not getting paid high enough. Nope. Go. Go do your thing. I need to get her on. I can't handle the ponies. See what happens to me. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, you Let need to. No, no. I need to Let get. I need to get you on this pony. No, before Tova. you do it, I'm going to do it. I am not letting you take. You're not taking your brother no, for. I'm no. not taking him for a run. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's not happening. I'm gonna shove it underneath his arm. Okay, you need to take this pony <laughs> and go for a walk. Take your saddle, please. Uh, okay. Not my saddle. Ma ma <laughs> you have to hold the pony. Master said, "Were you a secret agent?" I'm busy. I got stuff you going on. You can hold this. You're holding your just <laughs> one. I need to take this one. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. I can't do both. Uh, I can't do both. I have here. to see it over here. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Bodie. <laughs> Daddy won't hold the pony, honey. Look at. Uh. Look at everybody. <laughs> Bodie just wants to sit on the pony. <laughs> he just wants to sit on the pony. And Jason won't hold the pony. <laughs> Jason, you're nasty. That's what Lucas said. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of Isn't that mean? He kind of Okay. I'm going to I'm going to help. The kitty wants to sit with Bodie. I'm going to help, but I have okay. to go get something else on first. Okay. Can, can you, yes. Go can ahead. You make okay. Her sit in the huh? You want the kitty to sit with you? Okay. So we're going to put the kitty. You guys be were like. Yeah. All right. I want the horse to ride. We're doing it. I'll put it. Remember once, once Lala jumped onto there. Rosie's butt? No, just pet her. Remember she loves to be Lala jumped on onto Rosie's butt once? Yes. She bounced yes. on Yes, Lila just jumps right on Rosie from the ground. <laughs> That's funny. She didn't jump on it from the ground. She was on the wall. On Rosie? No, she's jumped on Rosie from the ground before. <laughs> yeah, she's Ow. totally done that. What's the one riding? <laughs> you know, like go over her head, honey. Just let her sit there comfortably. If she wants to jump down, let her. Okay. But if you just pet, her, she'll hang out with you. I'm gonna fall. But off she doesn't want to be there. Okay. Well, where are we so going? So now, no, Tova, what are you doing? No, no, Tova, come here. Tova, come here, or you're not riding this pony. Come here right now, or you're not riding this pony. Thank you. Mommy, for some reason, cats can jump from really high places. I can't believe we're actually. I can't believe we're doing all this. Okay, I think we're gonna make it though. We're gonna make it to the the six horses tonight. Do you want no? It's yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, you need to bridle right away. Or do you want me to make sure that she's not gonna buck? Make sure she's not okay. gonna buck. buck okay, buck. don't stand behind her butt. Okay. So here okay. we have tacking up pony. Okay. Don't don't jerk it around, Tova, because people will get sick. And, and then here we have. And then we are going to, um, I'm going to show you, my mom is going to exercise her maybe right there.
right there, or either right there. And we'll see if she'll buck, because I'm really looking forward to her bucking. No. Because I want to go on a bucking bronco ride. Get your face out of the camera. I think it's it'll be close, fun. Honey. So, let's go for the ride. I'm, I'm, Minnie's ready. Stop. Okay, now, sorry guys. Okay, Lee, I'm glad you're enjoying it. This is a little bit chaotic. I think this takes a lot of bravery to have your entire family be on camera for this no, long of time. Tova, get, get up. No, the whole thing's gonna flip over. Get down, please. Get down, please. Let me and Muffin be in the camera. You and Muffin are gonna be in the camera. Tova, get away from that, please. Sitting down. You do not touch that, okay? Gosh. Okay. What was Brandy's job? Uh, no horse. I don't know if I'm going to tell you guys. I don't know if I'm going to tell you tonight. Maybe I'll wait. I like me a good cliffhanger now and again. You're just going to make a bridle on that? No, I'm going to put the bridle on. You guys have seen me do the halter trick um, where I take the halter off after the bridle's on, but I'm not going to do that with Daisy. Just because of the minis, it's kind of hard because their heads are so little. There's a lot going on in there. And uh, I really don't like full cheek snaffles. She's got a full cheek snaffle on. It's not my favorite, but it's what we have right at the moment. My body is coming out next. What's that? The bottom one is coming out next. Your tooth? Oh, Bodie's about to lose a tooth. He lost one already. Now, you're going to see Daisy, you know, Daisy will Don't do it on a horse. play with her bit a lot. She's not used to it, so that's why. She doesn't get ridden enough to be used to it. So, but we're going to change that this summer. So, uh, singing the Garfield King song in my ear. Come on in, country 
Nintendo Party with Garfield and Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. Garfield and friends. Come here, Garfield. I'm friends. Garfield. Come here. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Does everyone take bets off if Toba's going to get bucked off or not? I have never gotten bucked off of her. Oh, she just, did you hear that? She just jinxed herself. <laughs> That's because I want to. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Good job. Yeah, I don't like this bridle at all. So that's my goal is to get a better bridle on her. I'll hang out here with people for a minute, answer some questions. Hundred and forty one people watching right now. Oh, we made thirty five dollars in super chats. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, super chats, what I'm doing with all the money that I get from Super Chat is putting it towards um buying equipment so I can bring you guys better quality videos and be more efficient. Hmm? You should do one of me eating. Sue says thanks com thanks good <laughs> good commenting Jason and thank you for your sure. That's Don <laughs> Bodie. Did Bodie just salute. He did just salute. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like I don't know if you guys saw Bodie close up, but he's got some gnarly teeth right now. They're like all hanging out of his mouth and only <laughs> two. Okay, so Elvid, do you want me to go get in a Kona and get on and ride around with you? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to go do that while these guys are... You want to bring when I lose too? this one... You want Petra? Yes, well, we can't... I can pony him. You could pony him. Yeah. <laughs> Petra can be a little... Unpony pony me. But yeah, that'd be great. I'm going to pull you. I'm going to pull you. I'll take you around and fetch you. Is it okay?
We'll let you guys watch Jason ride. No, I'll leave you alone. I'll wait and I'll critique you. I'll, I'll, I'll have you watch it later and I'll critique you while you're watching it with me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't do that. She is frisky tonight. Oh yeah. She's got a, she could, she could turn into a little bit of a buck. Yeah. But she doesn't have, she has pretty half-hearted bucks, so it's not really yeah. anything that anybody ever needs to be concerned about so much. She has dumped off a student or two just from like them not being prepared for it. But she's pretty easy to feel it coming. She gets humpy in her back. She just gets like that. It's just her, when she doesn't get ridden enough, she's definitely, doesn't he look good on a horse? There is nothing more handsome than a husband on a horse. You said that 18 I know, I say it all the time because I love when he rides. I can barely even bump her because my legs are like She likes to pick up that wrong lead there. You feel that, how she does that? There you go. Take her the other way. Give her a little canter the other way and then I'll hand Bodie up to you. I like my saddle. He's riding in my saddle. I bought it. Yeah, he bought it. Because he's nice like that. The thing I love about Petra is you really only have to touch her and she is happy to just go. That was a problem in the beginning though because she had just go, 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 go and didn't want to slow down. You're high. I would, don't follow daddy though, because then she's gonna want to go. She just wants to go. I know. Well, she hasn't really done anything. I think that it should be your job is to ride her every day. Don't you think so? Shouldn't daddy ride Petra every day? Yeah. You cold? Mind if I have the mittens for a minute? No, you're not taking my mittens. You can go get yours though. But why don't you scooch over so daddy can. Don't you even dare run me over or I'll give you it. <laughs> You'll get yours. Yeah, really sorry. okay, yeah, okay. Yes, you can. Just wait. Okay, someday. No fighting, Tony. He's trying to bite you. Hey, what she's getting there is. You thought it without. That's Jason's favorite one to ride. Good job, honey. Okay, I am going to hand off um, Bodie to Jason, and he's gonna pony him around while I go get Nakona. Hey, don't worry about me. It's all about your teacher, Jason. And you're gonna pony me. Pony you? Are you crazy? I'm never allowed to be pony. Yeah, because oh, you're I a big girl. That. You're a big girl. Go.
to do the videos earlier but this whole like homeschooling thing has really got me I can't believe you guys are still with us that's so cool thanks for thanks for uh, hanging out with us on our Friday night that's awesome phone died because Jason's got his phone plugged in right now but that's okay so I'm riding to Kona just a halter I am using a dressage whip just to make sure that she responds to my leg I just when I have it in case I need it and I like to play with the kitties when I've got
Are you hungry? I'm going to hurry up though because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this new girl pretty soon. <laughs> Third phone call that I've, that I've gotten that is asking for me. So I gotta answer. Yep. I see it too. Mm -hmm. Now you're upstairs, boy. What's that? Nope. We're gonna put you back. What are we doing with her? Um, I can pick her up and help her. Yeah, you wanna get him off and tie up that pony? Yep, go for it. Get it. Nice ride, everybody.
Okay guys, so the reason it froze up is because my camera is at 10% battery. So we are going to say good night to you. We're gonna put some horses away. We're gonna go in and eat dinner. And I have a video posting at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning of Manzer. So, and now this will be the last video of Manzer before his herd introduction. So the one on Sunday, I'm hoping to give you the herd introduction. What's the herd introduction? Introduction, when we put Man Manzer out with the herd, so. What do you mean? We, we put him out with the herd, that video. You'll see, right. you'll see. Okay guys, thank you so much, and I will see you on Monday for a live stream. Have a fabulous weekend. Thanks for watching, bye. Mommy.